All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This video comes from Liberty Hangout and it's titled Black Trump Supporter Breaks the Programming. All right, so we're going to get into it, see what they're talking about here in this video. I skipped forward a bit. The video's 19 minutes long, that's why, but I will leave it in the description so you can watch the full length video yourself. All right, now don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now let's get into it. Dictate your behavior in any way, I'm shape, or form. I'm not letting that because because tell you that's what everyone thinks. I'm not talking if to you. If that's what everyone thinks, they don't want you to go up in this country. So they don't give you the opportunity so that you need. So then you bust your butt and you show them that that's you don't what care do. what they think. What and you become successful. Does. And I can Here, applaud mother, that. My mother was a single mother, worked three jobs my whole life. Exactly. To get me where I am now. And you are and cannot no, stop yes, you. it does. No, it does not the stop you. She needs. My mom worked her ass to get a manager position in a hospital. She has her man or her master's degree and she's going out for her doctorate because not only Hold on, let me see if I can figure out what college they're at. Does does that is the show in the description? No, it doesn't. Only did other people tell her that she shouldn't do it, but she knew herself that she should without getting the opportunities that she wanted herself. So she did go out and bust her butt. But so that you're telling mean, me that does not mean that everyone didn't put her down along the way. But they didn't stop her, and that's what I'm saying. But Racism is, is not a significant issue enough is. to stop you. Are you what? It's not so going to stop you. Fifty years. She has gone out for fifty years. That has not stopped her. It hasn't stopped her. You said she's what still kind of going. Are you? So you're telling me you have not gone Am through Am I not racism. black enough now? You're telling me you have not gone you're through not, any I'm racism in your life. You didn't say that. None. I find it interesting. Colored people in a, you know, I, I mean, I'm assuming this. I'm assuming this is a this is a nice college, but I don't want to assume what college what co college it is. But it's interesting. They're complaining about how hard it is to to make it and about how about how they're struggling with dealing from some uh, oppression that's stopping them from getting to where they want to go. But they're what, 18, 19, 20 in college working towards what they're working towards. It seems like they're doing fine to me as long as they're getting good grades. Like, what's the problem? You know, where where is where is this where is this racism affecting you and holding you back in your life? You know what I mean? You've never gone through I said anything. I'm not an African-American. I didn't say I wasn't black. So what the f*** are you? Right. I'm an American. No, you're an African-American. Personally, I don't like the term African-American because, I mean, I'm not African. Well, I have African ancestry, but I was born in this country. I'm, I am I consider myself a black American, but that's just me. And it's probably a lot of other, um, plenty of black people that, that um, disagree with the, with the term African-American. No, 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 no. The argument, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was my red herring. I just so, want to so, say that. So the issue is, the you said that yeah. was significant enough in America to stop you from being whatever you can be, and it's not. It's not. Do you want me to tell you something? When I, when I, when I, when I started my company, I have a company with 150 employees. We gross millions of dollars a year, and we cut trees down. If you have your own company. How about a congratulations? Company as an uh, uh, an American man. Uh, I won't even call you, you an African man. You call me a black man. You're a black man. Do you try and put more effort into employing more African Americans than white males? Actually, see now the frame, the whole framing of that is wrong. If you start a company with the intention to hire more black people than than white people, or just to to meet uh, racial quotas, you might be doing yourself a disservice by not hiring the best person suited for the job employ a lot of Mexicans. Okay, so do you try and go out your way to employ more people that you feel are underrepresented in the country? No, I employ people that I believe will do the best job. Period. It's simple. To employ people no, based on their skin color. It's not, because you definitely just told me that America does not try to put down people who you don't think has the ability to do certain jobs. I didn't say that, but I believe that there's no better country to be a person of color than America. And if you find a better country, if you find a better country, I would love to hear about it. I can tell you that there's many countries. Canada, <laughs> you can go into multiple multilingual or multilingual. So why are there? I haven't seen anybody when, when when asked this question. I haven't heard anyone give a good answer. And I mean, the, the honest truth is, you can't give a better answer than America. There are more black millionaires in the United States than in Canada. I mean, what? I don't know. I don't. Probably <laughs> population. You can definitely. How about you look? No, like even percentage of the population. Below, right? Yeah. I'm just telling you that it is very hard to go up in America being not of the white race. But what I'm saying is just because somebody says something rude to you, like calls you the N-word, that does not affect your ability yes, to make does. money. It affects everyone Mentally else's it mindset. That's everyone else's mindset. 
I'm sorry, but if if you really if you seriously let that affect your mindset so much to where you 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 don't see a way to get forward in life because someone called you a, a the n word, then I mean you just got to grow up. I mean, no matter what color you are, people going to have a word for you. You know, if you're doing good, if you're successful, you're going to have haters. It's going to be people trying to take, uh, tear you down, bring you down. But that's the cha- that's challenges that everyone going to have to go have to face, you know, on, on their road to success and whatever endeavor they they going, uh, that they choose, you know, that affects you. That affects you. That affects you. Going through depression affects I didn't you. say depression doesn't but affect you. Affect you. I'm saying it's not going to stop your ability to make money in the United States. You. The it's thing is, if that's up. what one person... No, you're not giving okay, up. But, not but if that's what one person thinks about you, that's what multiple exactly. people think about you. That's not true. America is not a more country today than it was 50 years ago. America is the no, least no, that it's no. ever been at any point in history. I'm not exactly sure what... what she's arguing for like I'm, i don't understand the point she's trying to make it's hard here people are going to call you things you might get depressed because people call you things and they'll stop you from from succeeding like i that argument is is whatever that argument is ground uh uh is grounded in i'm not i'm not i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it because my answer to that is so what who cares go go and get it regardless and is more or less dead and the only people that keep it alive keep it alive because they want to make money off of it okay I'm confu- so you're saying is only around to make money and the fact that they can't even fathom how racism can be used to make money is is, is telling people keep racism around today to make money yes how does the media not pit us against each other they tell us that the police are killing us when you look at statistics it's not true that's if people do that's their research, false. and that's that's right. But really, there are, there are that's cases. tell me how many people were shot and killed by the police in 2017. All right, All right. this dude looks like he about to go off. He's, it sounds like he about to go off. No, oh, but the problem is I, nine. I have experienced nine <laughs> unarmed <laughs> people. I don't know. And explain it to me. Explain me. Explain your situation. I've been in cuffs three times and committed zero crimes. Okay. Discrimination. I've literally. Been so they came over and they were like, you know what? There's a black man walking. Let me arrest him. Correct. That's what happened. There's a CVS that was robbed. He's, the description was a black male that was 6'1 with long hair. I don't have that long of hair. I got arrested. Was in cuffs for two hours. Two hours. Had to have all my all my information like decided, like ran and everything. And then after two hours, they finally figured out I wasn't 6'1 when I'm 5'10. Yes. I mean, it's like, this is the way I see it, right? The same way there's always someone bigger, badder, and stronger than you, there's always someone with a with a worse story than you. You know, I, <coughs> excuse me, I found myself in, you know, some very unfortunate situations, and, you know, you get through them, and then once you're on the other side of them, once you're on the other side of them where the grass is greener, you look back at it and say, wow, you know, the, the, those hard times really helped shape who I am today. That's how you look at it. You know, but this dude, you know, three years, two years post, you know, all his um, the, all the times he's been arrested by police, he's still looking at it with the mindset of, oh, my God, that was so traumatic. I'm a victim. You know, it, it it really does boil down to the way you decide to. It really does decide. It really does come down to the way you decide to, to um, you know, um, picture, portray, believe things in your head. You know, because the same thing can happen to two different people and they both um, react to it two different ways, you know. And that's because I, of. Yes. 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 So try it wasn't. Me. No, try, it, me. Try, me. try me. So it wasn't because you fit the description of the other person. No, I didn't fit the description. I'm not six one. I don't have long hair. It's, it's just it's black. It's because I'm black. So I, I, so, I've, so that's the, that's that, the that, second time so that, that was happened. that was your experience. Second time that was your experience. That was your experience. My experience is I've experienced I, a lot of racial I was, discrimination. I was pulled over 14 times in the last year. Yeah, and how many times were you in cuffs? Not a single time. So I was in it for one for a trap for a speeding violation. Uh, speeding. <laughs> a speeding. A speeding violation. Yeah. 14 times for speeding. <laughs> for speeding. I'm not even gonna lie. I I spent 15 miles over the speed limit in 2018. Sat in cuffs for an hour while they checked my car. 100 percent. And that's, what do you and that's purely what do you, because of What do you think that is? And, and how, do does you that stop is? You? how does that stop what do you? How does that stop you? What do you think from, it is? It, like, what do you think it is? Like, come so on, like, do you want me to explain it to you? Yeah, what do you think it was? Okay, so this is, you're not going to be happy about this, but 55% of violent crimes are committed by African-American males. And? So, so, why, so why should I be in handcuffs for committing a traffic violation? 
shouldn't. You shouldn't. Exactly. So it, I don't know the situation, but I seriously doubt it was just because you sit. Yeah, it's hard to speak on something that you have no facts. You have no facts about. Now, if, if he really was innocent, just strolling through the neighborhood and somebody and, you know, the police came and arrested him, you know, wrongfully, then uh, it shouldn't have happened. But if, at, at the end of the day, you get your little you get your little slap on the wrist. It was a mistake. It was an accident. They, they let you go. All All's well that ends well. I mean, you're fine. It's this. It's not a big deal. You know, committed a traffic violation. So is that why black man? So he should black be male, right, cops for a traffic is that, is violation. I've been, I've been pulled over 50. I just told no. you how many times I was pulled over. I've never once been put in cops. So and I'm that, a black man. Is that the why every man. black male is taught from a young age to keep their hands on the steering wheel and don't move a single <laughs> inch until they come exactly. up to your window? Do you know what the statistics are for the number no, of African Americans that, that shoot that why, police though? officers? Is that why? Is that why every young male is taught to keep their hands facing forward as a young age? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, one at a time. People rallying behind this like it's such a big talking point. Don't don't agitate the police. Like you, you like that's that's just common sense. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Have your have your registration and your license ready as soon as they come up to the door. Whenever a cop pulls me over, I've been pulled over plenty of times. Whenever a cop pulls me over, I have my license and my registration in my hand. I roll down the window. Boom! It's the first thing he sees. He don't even gotta ask me for it. But what? But, but that doesn't prove anything. People tell you that our parents tell us that because you know when they want us to be prepared when that when that day comes because more than likely. If you drive, it will happen, and they just want you to know how to conduct yourself. But I don't understand what point she's proven. Like, these are all emotional arguments being made from this side. <clears throat> what is this the thing? I mean, answer your questions one at a time. Can you repeat your question? Is that why every young what is male the, what is, it? is taught to keep their hands on the steering wheel and don't move an inch until they get to your car? Every Everyone should be taught that. You should always keep your but hands on the steering wheel. is that why specifically? Because statistically, we've been told that the police are more likely to shoot us because we've believed a lie that police brutality is this major issue affecting the black violent. community. Okay. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. Profiling happens. What Profiling what happens. What it's it the job happens. of a police officer. It happens versus it being a major issue are two are two very different things. A lot of things happen. <coughs> Miracles happen. Yes. But do we do we operate do you operate off of off of exceptions versus the versus the rule of if you don't agitate police you'll you'll be fine nine out of ten times? You know, that's that's how you're supposed to move. To profile. But racially, profile, racially, 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 profile. I didn't say racially. I said to profile. That is what I so said. I should be profiled. So if I commit a traffic violation, if you fit, if you, if you if fit, I commit, a traffic all right, I'll give you an example right now. Right now, do you know who I'm most threatened by right now of this group of people? It's you because of your body language, not because of your skin color. What part of his body language? Where's my body? Because, because he's folding, he's folding his arm, and he keeps stepping up to me, and he said, "This is what I'm talking about." But you kept, you kept saying, you kept saying, "Try me," and you, you got him like this. I was genuinely intimidated. I was like, "He's acting like he wants to go here." Multiple people know me here. See, this is why they need me out there, man, because they, 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 none of these dudes intimidated me. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not a very intimidating person and it's literally hard. I didn't say you were an intimidating person but I said your behavior is the most intimidating of anybody that's around I'm doing the exact same thing that's because the thing is you're denying you're, you're denying the facts I'm just saying you're denying the facts we're all doing this we're literally all doing this I'm not intimidated by you at all okay but it's still 35 degrees out wait I do have to say one thing about you saying that you're American just American right yeah. so you're technically African American because the definition of being African American is because you don't know your origin of where your people come from in Africa. So you My people come from America. No. Okay. Obviously. Your ancestors so, come no, from. No, your ancestors. They came from America. Okay, but before that, that before, before that, that. How, uh, far can you, how far can you trace back your heritage? I, I think I'm 39% English, so they came from England. Okay, well, what about, what about the other percentage? I'm, I think I'm 15% Native American, so they also came from America. Okay, and then the rest. And, and whatever percent black I am, they probably came from some country in Africa. And that's why you would identify But why, wait, why would I not identify as English American no, or Indian American? but you know why most African Americans identify as African American? Because most of their heritage comes from Africa. So since they cannot identify what part of Africa they come from, they identify as African American as a whole. Now me, I know exactly what part I come from in Africa. I'm Kenyan American. 
That's what I identify as because I actually know my origin. But you can't just diss that part of yourself. And I'm not telling you to diss the Native American part or the English part of yourself, right? Wait, I'm why just, would you think I diss my bil- my being black? No, no, I'm not trying to say that you are. American. But you're just like... But I've never been to Africa. Why would I call myself an African American? I'm, 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 so you- That's what I was saying. Like, like me personally, I don't really identify with... <clears throat> with the motherland you know what i'm saying like as far as ancestors when people think about ancestors especially the close ones you know you grow up you see your grandma your grandpas most um some people are lucky enough to see their great grandparents and and great um grand yeah some people are lucky enough to see their great grandparents but then you look at after that like in terms of my ancestors i'm not looking back to africa cuz i don't i don't know anybody from Af- i don't know any family from a- africa most black people here don't um i i connect more with my you know my grandparents were from the south so i connect more with my southern you know slave plantation roots if you want to call it that but but even then, even still that <clears throat> that is american you know what i'm saying so you know that I, that's that's what he means i understand what he means you know, as far as I trace my people back, you know, from my grandparents, all my stories, my family stories, my heritage, it's, it's all it's all American. You know what I mean? Do you just consider yourself to be black? I consider myself to be a black American. OK, because I feel like terms like hyphenated terms like African-American divide Americans. Well, that's the thing. Like I was robbed of my identity. My ancestors were robbed of their identity. I have oh, ancestors that, of the that were slaves. That I, I, know, I know the name of some of my ancestors that were slaves. And that I'm, should not affect you I, in any way, I'm shape, or form. Gen- I'm, I'm the fourth generation of my because name. Because that does not define exact, you. I know exactly not? who was You're a You're not defined by your past. But you're, yo, yes, that you so. never experienced. But then how can you def- identify as English American? That's your past. How can I identify as American? Because this is America. And it's the greatest country on planet Earth. That's not what he said. It's not what you said. He said, how can I identify as American no. and not yes, black? It's your past. You're, you said, you said, you said that's the No, that's my present. I was born in America. I live in America. Okay. But that's your past. That's my present. That's your past. I'm currently living in America. You were born, past tense, in America? No. Okay, now now she's just being petty. All right, be quiet. All right, but yeah, you know that was a, that was an interesting discussion. You know, it's always that's that's what we're here for. We're here to see interesting discussion, ideas being you know thrown at each other, being challenged. I love it. I love it. And I hope you guys did too. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. We got what is it? One or two more days until I announce the winners of the Insider Plus All Access Giveaway of Daily Wire subscriptions. I will be giving a few of those away at the end of the month of October. You guys, we've made it. We already here. Today's the last day of October. So yeah, I'll be announcing that soon. But I'm out you guys till next time. Peace.